Hey friend, super excited to get into another vegan restaurant that we can check out and you can get a little sticky beak of what this place is all about. Today I am sticking with the Mornington Peninsula. Last visit I went to Nature Cafe Bar. Now today I'm down in Dramana to check out Wombat Cafe and store. Wombat Cafe and store has been around for several years now. It has honestly done a fantastic job to cement itself as a destination place in the Mornington Peninsula. Wombat Cafe is situated in a relatively quiet strip of shops in Dramana, so it isn't in the heart of Dramana. It is away a little bit from the hustle bustle of the heart. Busy, but not overly busy as well. Probably the biggest driver for Wombat Cafe is the fact that it is situated across the road from a very popular walking and biking track. Wombat Cafe can get a little bit busy on the weekend or if the weather is really good because of the bike and walking track. Wombat Cafe does a fantastic job of making you feel welcome. The staff are always up for a chat and want to know about you. So that is probably one of the biggest selling points for a cafe in general, just having friendly staff. The barista is always up for a chat. So that is a major selling point for Wombat Cafe. They make you feel like you are part of the community. Wombat Cafe has been around for several years and they have had a relatively small menu, but the food is fantastic. No menus in sight for Wombat Cafe. They have it on their large blackboard showing you the smoothie option and the day's menu, which is generally just a handful of items. The banana pancakes are definitely the fan favorite as this item very rarely falls off the menu. When I visited, they had homemade falafels, they had their hot dog, they had a curry, they had the typical avo on toast and of course those pancakes as well which were fantastic they do have a cabinet full of sandwiches baked good slices and even croissants as well but if you are not looking to sit down and eat you can definitely grab a quick bite for takeaway the food offering was delicious the falafels the spread on the falafels was fantastic good variety on there and a fantastic meal option for the kiddies a lot of different items to pick and choose off that plate equally of course those banana pancakes were a massive hit as well hot dog was very flavorsome it had some sauerkraut in there it had a mixture of mayo mustard tomato sauce some really good flavors but for the price for me personally it was only one hot dog in a bun it was a little bit rich in terms of price nevertheless the flavors were fantastic and a great option as well on top of this wombat also does have some pantry items and fridge section as well having some popular vegan items in there as well like the vegan dairy in the fridge and then some other vegan pantry items that you can pick up whilst there in terms of vegan cafes out there wombat cafe holds that community feel really strongly it comes out in spades and is a fantastic destination if you are down on the mornington peninsula mornington peninsula is the home of red hill wineries it's close to the beach crystal clear beach and with wombat being about five minutes from the heart of dramana it is a fantastic location that is slightly away from the touristy section but close enough as a destination as well being in the mornington Peninsula it is a little bit of a hike for a lot of people but if you are looking for a little bit of a day trip but making Wombat Cafe the starting point for your little day trip is a fantastic stop off you can enjoy the walk across the road or you could head up to Red Hill and enjoy those wineries as well I feel like Wombat Cafe has got it down completely with that community feel making you feel welcome and the locals obviously love this place as well there's a general store next door and then there's another cafe but wombat cafe has stood the test of time and has lasted especially for being a vegan cafe for me personally wombat cafe i've gone here several times and the food is always delicious what i love about wombat as well is that they actually donate leftover food to the local animal sanctuaries as well so they really do hold on to those vegan ethics and they're not overly pushy in store but are welcome 
for non-vegans and vegans alike to come and enjoy their offerings. If you're ever in Victoria, heading down to the morning to Peninsula, Wombat Cafe and Store is a fantastic vegan destination that you need to check out. Anyway, friends, there's a little bit of an insight into Wombat Cafe and Store. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the food looked fantastic. And if you have another vegan destination that you want me to check out, it doesn't have to be vegan, just really fantastic vegan options. I'd love to try it out. So chuck down your suggestions below and I'll happily do a recap of it in the future. Anyway, friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And while you're here looking for Mornington Peninsula inspo, definitely check out this video next talking about Nature Bar Cafe, which is on the doorstep of the Mornington Peninsula as well. Another fantastic vegan cafe in the area. But anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. So until next time, I'll catch you soon.